World of Warcraft's upcoming expansion, The War Within, introduces an all-new pillar of progression for open-world players. Delves are one to five player role agnostic adventures found throughout Kaz Algar. Players will typically be able to complete these bite sized combat, puzzle, and platforming experiences in just 10 to 15 minutes, providing an additional way to level and an alternative path to end game rewards alongside Mythic Plus dungeons, raids, and PvP. Players can dive into Delves alone or in parties of any number up to five and any combination of classes and roles are viable, letting you approach each adventure as you see fit. Multiple healers could offer a safer way to travel, but prioritizing damage output might allow you to sprint through at record pace. This versatility allows players to progress with who they want, how they want, and when they want. As you approach, you'll be prompted to choose a difficulty level, called a tier, and can then walk right in. There is no loading screen. Lower tiers are available during leveling, with higher tiers added at max level and season one. If you're grouping with a friend or a couple of guildmates, just party up to enter the same instance. If you're looking to meet new delvers, the group finder tool can assist with finding or forming a party. In the same way, it helps form groups for quests, mythic dungeons, raids, and custom activities. Whether you group with friends or strangers, everyone in your party can play whatever class and specialization they want so no one has to sit out or be overlooked because their desired role is already filled. The flexibility of Delves is made possible thanks to your companion NPC. Each season, you'll be accompanied by a new companion who could be customized to complement your playstyle. The legendary Dwarven historian Bran Bronzebeard, renowned explorer and veteran of the Second War, will be the first to join you. By choosing Bran's specialization, he could be molded into a healer or damage dealer, allowing him to fill the role you or your group need. As you progress, Bran levels up too, gaining skills that expand his arsenal and enhance his effectiveness. If you want to focus on damage output yourself, Healer Bran is happy to throw a potion on the ground that heals allies. Or, with a damage-focused Bran, you could activate his Gryphodon's Battle Harness, which lets him bombard enemies with lightning hammers from atop his loyal Gryphon. Once your max level and Bran is of a high enough rank, you'll begin earning Curios. Equip Bran by choosing a Combat Curio and a Utility Curio to give him trinket-like effects that empower your party. In addition, Bran can help you find lost supplies and Delves that can help you in your runs. There will be 12 different Delves to explore at launch, and you can expect to find some in each of the new zones. In the Isle of Dorne, you venture into the Earthcrawl Mines, a dig site that has been taken over by Nerubians. In Hallowfall, you must carefully explore the sinkhole, the very bottom of the zone, where all the water gathers and Cobus lurk and lure in their victims. In the Ringing Deep's Dread Pit, you'll spelunk into a forward base of operations that the Nerubians are using to lay assault on the machine speakers. And more adventures await in Ajkahet to discover for yourself Upon the start of Season 1, a 13th delve will become unlockable. Focusing on a single boss encounter, players must now brave the enemy's lair and defeat the greatest threat yet, Zevzik. Delves are designed with replayability in mind and feature changing objectives. This means delves are dynamic, with each offering multiple experiences. Delve variants are unlocked at max level, similar to how world quests are unlocked, with different variants available on a given day. Perhaps one day you're sent on a mission to rescue a group of Earthen from the Nerubians, but on another you find yourself working with the Arathi to burn all the Nerubian nests in that same location. Thanks to their dynamic objectives, you could visit the same delve multiple times and have completely different adventures. Completing delves will reward you with a variety of valuable loot. Get to the treasure room at the end of a delve and you'll find chests that will provide you with guaranteed core progression rewards upgrade track currencies, delve currency, and more, including a unique reward. The Delver's Dirigible Mount can only be earned through Delves. It's a cosmetically customizable flying machine that allows you to mix and match various modules to create your own dynamic flight masterpiece. As you complete more of these adventures and journey into Azeroth's core, you'll earn new customization options, with more choices added each season. Core progression items earned scale all the way up into the endgame, they are awarded at item levels relative to the difficulty of the delve, 
similar to how Mythic Plus dungeons and raids work, with items capping out at power levels comparable to Heroic Raids or Mythic Plus 5 keys. Even the Great Vault itself is being updated to include reward choices for completing delves, offering players a chance to earn powerful items on a weekly basis. Delve currency can be used to buy collectibles and entry-level Warbound gear. You can also find the collectibles and Warbound gear in chests directly, as well as transmogs, pets, toys, recipes, and reagents. Keep an eye out for new hat cosmetics that can drop, and embrace your inner kobold or fungus. Are you ready to dive into delves? Experience a more flexible, more customizable World of Warcraft in The War Within.